but now it's becoming mm -hmm. more mainstream because it represents a more similarity to what the ACL is. You know, the patellar tendon, the hamstring tendon, and even most grafts um, in terms of thickness and um, tensile strength, you know, how much it can hold a load um, is, is more comparable with the quad tendon and the ACL than the others. So they shifted to that and then found to, if they added this component and it was people just talk, you know, and somebody is like light bulb, you know, if we could find a way to facilitate the healing of the portals and the tunnels of the graft, then we can attempt to put a load to the graft and start changing the graft from a tendon to a ligament. That is what gets you cleared. And that's what we're working on right now. And we are trying to get, you know, additional imaging. Um, that's kind of the process we're at now is we want to relook at the um, quad tendon as the graft at, you know, six months out, seven months out and see how much of its properties have changed from a tendon to a ligament. And when that, if we start getting that information, we're going to be able to really elevate this program and things like that and to find out exactly where the change starts happening. But you have to load it. So us being able to load sooner is going to change the tendon into a ligament sooner, which means then you get to perform better sooner. Yeah. It's just a progression. And it, it, it just all came from one thought and where the literature was already going. And then you had two surgeons that decided to take this on and they're doing great, great work with it. So I'm just thankful to be able to be a part of it.